This is T. Reaper's Mom, Mom the Bomb, 1977, and I'm loading my world called Y. I'm going to take you on a quick walk through this world and uh, give you some hints for building and mining. This world was used with a, or begun with a, um, with with a seed called Cod, C-O-D. And where I'm at right now is up in my fortress, which as you can see is above the ground. We'll come back up here in a minute. I just wanna show you around, show you some things. Actually, let's go up a little bit higher. I'm still building up here. Eventually we'll have another story up here, but right now we've just got walkways, and as you can see, we are plenty far above the ground. I like to use the glass so you can see the ground. It's a little bit scary at first. It's like walking on the glass observation deck at the CN Tower. But you get used to it. take you back down here, show you around what's on the first floor of our fortress. Now this is T. Reaper's room. He has not decorated it yet, not even a bed. Where are you going to sleep, T. Reaper? Don't you just love our doors? In here we have our enchanting room. hints about enchanting. The first thing you want to enchant if you're playing in a peace, mostly, mostly peaceful world would be a diamond pickaxe and you try to get fortune on it. And the reason for that is you'll end up with more diamonds if you use it on diamond ore. And that is how we got all those diamonds. You can see we have eight blocks of diamonds and two diamonds and this world has not been played in a whole lot so you can see we have quite a few diamonds for that amount of playtime. This is my storage room. I'm going to grab a couple of pickaxes and here you can see it's my diamond pickaxe with efficiency 4 and fortune 3 on it. That's a great enchantment. Took 30 levels for that. Grab some torches. I'm just going to grab a couple for now. Now when we started this world, we spawned right by a village. And there are several villages, actually four villages in this, in this seed. Again, which is Cod, C-O-D. <clears throat> I like to build fortresses in the air um, because First of all, they look neat, and second of all, it is harder for mobs to be around your fortress, especially if you use a lot of torches in your fortress, so they don't spawn in your fortress. You can see, by seeing the donkeys around, that we are playing with the new title update for Xbox 360. Hello, donkey. And this is the village we spawned by. Uh, I did add the pumpkins and the watermelons. The wheat was already planted. We've got a couple other gardens on the other side. I do have carrots and potatoes as well. I'm going to take you down to my mines now. Typically, we mine at level 11, or level 10, I'm sorry, we go down to level 10. And what we do is we staircase down using natural mines as they occur. Which is why you'll see all this curviness. We just used what was already there until we got somewhere where we needed to build staircases, like right here. Okay, here we are. And you will see we are at level 10. 
what we will do when we mine in this house is we'll mine to each side of where the staircase comes down. And I'm not going to go all the way to the end of this one. But we'll mine to each side and then we'll mine straight forward from the staircase. And then what we do is we mine until we run into lava or some other obstacle like the end of the world. Um, and then we will branch off and we will mine three by three. You can see we'll we mine three by three tunnel. And every we skip two in between and then we mine another one. So we mine until we run into some kind of obstacle. And then we come back and mine again. Now I know I ran into lava down this one here, so I'm just going to start mining again. And the way that we like to mine is we just mine straight back like this. And you want to be careful when you do this bottom layer here that you go ahead of yourself a few blocks just in case you uncover some lava, you're not going to accidentally walk right into it. And again, you can see that I have my, my Fortune 3 pickaxe. I wish I could run across some diamonds here for you to show you what it does, but I ran across some diamonds last time I was down here. A uh, patch of six diamonds, and I ended up with, with 15 diamonds because of that pickaxe. So, great enchantment. Again, it takes 30 levels. And there you go. There's the start of our next mine. I will put up some torches, just so when I turn it to easier normal, we don't have mobs spawning down here. And I'll take this redstone, too. Now, with the latest title update... You can make redstone blocks now, which is great because besides building redstone contraptions, there wasn't a whole lot that you could do with redstone. Um, I've got, I have got chests full of redstone. So it's a, it's a great thing that now you can build blocks and you can build with it. So there's our mines and you'll see we'll just do the same thing all the way down here and then all the way down the other side and we will also do it both sides of this main tunnel here so you can see we've got a lot of mining to do in this world I'll go back up to the surface it takes me a little while I should really put stingers on here that would that would really help me and make it a lot quicker getting upstairs Say, Mom the Bomb, 1977? Yes, it would. You're using way too much energy. If you were on normal, you would be eating all the time because you're using so much energy going up and down your stairs in the mines. Actually, downstairs doesn't come from So we're coming back up here. You can see my fortress over there and yes it does look cool doesn't it i do like building those fortresses in the air we're a star wars family around here we call those cloud cities and if you know star wars though you know what i'm talking about no lando calrissian in them however led williams couldn't get him under contract i'm sorry and i'm going to go back up to my fortress one thing about building in the sky, another reason that I use the glass is because if you use a more solid block, it will block off the light that hits the ground. You can see where I use the stone bricks that there is a shadow on the water. And I'm going back upstairs now, and that is my walkthrough of my world called Why. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.